from Salem Sports Park. It's the Flash Spotlight with defender Katherine Reynolds. I mean, I obviously started playing soccer when I was probably four years old, and I, I played a lot of sports, but I always liked soccer the most, and um, I, I always like to tell the story how at practice when I was younger, a lot of the girls wouldn't take it very seriously, and like, you know, they were playing in the sand or like making sand castles with their feet, and I would get so mad, I'd come home from practice and be like, the girls don't care about soccer, and like, I just wanted to practice all the time, and um, I still played all sports, like all through middle school and high school, um, but soccer was always my favorite and I just was really motivated to work hard and it was just always my dream to do what I'm doing today. Tennis, basketball, track were my main other sp swimming. Probably growing up, I would say, um, well, obviously it, Mia Hamm, but also Michelle Akers, just because of her work ethic, and um, I just think she was a major inspiration for all females in soccer during that time. Obviously, it was a huge accomplishment winning the championship last season with the Western New York Flash. That was awesome. But I'd say something I'm pretty proud of was um, with the U23 national team, we won the Four Nations tournament in Sweden one summer, and it was fun just because I got to play a big part of that. And um, it was just really cool to be a part of like a U.S. national team and to win, and it was cool. Oh. Um, I've been trying to find my perfect pregame meal because I haven't really found it yet, but the last couple games I've had pasta with a little chicken and some fruit, and I, I'm liking that. I'm, I'm liking that right now, so I'll stick with that until I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I would just say that if you know you want to continue in soccer, that it, it's it is important when you're young to work hard and do work outside of training and um, work on your skills. And I think that maybe a lot of young players think that just going to practice a couple of times a week is going to get you to where you need to be. But to be the best, you need to put in the extra work. And I think that you know all these players that are playing in this league and on this team will tell you that they were the kid that was staying after practice and just doing a little extra, or going out on a Saturday morning with it with themselves and juggling or you know it's just everything that you do makes a difference and will make you stand out and if soccer is really your dream and what you want to do with your future oh um whenever people ask me this i always say mr holland's opus and no one knows what it is but it's a great movie <laughs> Right now, I'm enjoying some Macklemore. Uh, a cheeseburger. Steve Nash. Nordstrom. Seattle Sounders. It was great. I'm really happy I got that opportunity. Playing or living abroad is something I've always wanted to do because we didn't really get the chance in college with soccer. And so I'm so happy I got the chance. And there's definitely parts of it that were really difficult, but I mean, I learned so much and um, I just think it will be something that I will keep with me forever and will remember forever. And I'm just really happy I got to do it. Um, well, I have three little sisters, um, and my mom and my dad, and yeah, my, all my sisters and I are really close, but now we're so spread out over the country, so we don't get to see each other too often, but um, something my family looks forward to that we've done in the past maybe six years is at Christmas time we've gone to Hawaii. And that's a lot of fun because it's like really the only time during the year that all six of us get to be together. So 
something that's pretty special to all of us. I would like to make it to every continent at some point. Got a while, ways to go. I don't know, maybe that like I have a lot of interests outside of soccer. I like I enjoy learning and I like to read and uh, I like to travel and I like to cook. I don't know. I just think maybe people think us professional soccer players are only care about soccer, but I think a lot of us like to do a lot of other things as well. I don't know. Um, possibly law school. I had a political science major, so that was something I always was thinking about. Maybe still. We'll see how long I play for. But um, maybe that or anything. I, I have a lot of interests, so I feel like I could really be doing anything. <laughs> maybe, maybe Sam, because she just has some of the weirdest things to say and I'm just sometimes I'm like where did that come from like what are you, what are you thinking about right now so probably her she's she's funny <laughs> I was actually telling the girls yesterday that one time in high school <laughs> a guy told me that um, I had nice eyes and that they were the color of poop <laughs> <laughs> in second grade, I, th or, oh, I don't know what grade it was, but this is so random. I was a cell phone, and it was like this big thing, and then like on the inside I had a ringer, so you could like press something and I would ring. It's pretty random. Well, when I was pretty young, I was a big like Nickelodeon fan, like Rugrats, Doug, like those kind of shows. We did this, I'm the only person I can, I, I know Angela the best, we've lived together for the past three years. We did this on the twit cam, but she wears her hair like on top of her head, so one practice last year, I like put my hair up like that, but I don't, I don't think I need to do that right now. <laughs> uh, Diet Coke? Snow White. <laughs> Fresh Prince. <laughs> Olives. Comedy. Peanut butter. In sync. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Tickets for all 2013 home games are available at WNYFlash.com or by calling the Salem Stadium box office at 585 454 KICK.